Hi, this is George Cow. Do you have a way of concisely describing what you do that is a powerful description? When you know how to describe what you do in a concise but powerful way, a couple of great things happen. One is when someone asks you, hey, what do you do? You practiced it, you can share it in a really uh, interesting way for them. But secondly, that understanding of yourself and of your business actually seeps in and imp uh, seeps into the rest of your business and improves your marketing uh, because it, you have understood how to describe your, your services in a very deep way. And also, it actually improves your client services too because you become more confident about your, your really the self-identity you have in your business, okay? So let me give you a formula today to help you create that um, elevator speech is what some people call this. So the basic formula is five parts. Uh, it, starts, it actually starts with your name, which is part number zero. So you say your name first. And then, and then the first part is what, uh, who are your ideal clients? Um, what kind of people, whether it's their a part, particular age range or whether it's a particular profession you serve or whether it's people uh, with a particular passion in their life or, okay, so wh who are they, okay? Maybe it's part, you just particularly serve women or particularly serve men. Who are they? Um, what problem do you help them solve or what goal do you help them achieve? Third is... Uh, what credibility do you have in providing the service or, or helping these types of people? Maybe it's the years of experience, something about your background, something about your, your own training and studies, uh, maybe where your work has been featured. Fourth is any kind of testimonial you've gotten from uh, a client recently, just some comments your clients have said that give you, show, you, show the person you're talking to that you, you seem credible in your work or maybe a quick client story, okay, that you can share. So that's four. And the fifth is, how does your service differ from other people who provide a similar service? Uh, maybe you do something that's quite alternative, and but how does that differ? How is that, for whom is it better than a mainstream type of service? Or, or in what ways is it better than, than other people who provide the same kind of service? What sets you apart? And then there are uh, two other optional parts, number six and number seven, that if you have time, you can include them. But in your own practice, you should include them, which is six is what is your modality? What um, Describe the process that you work, what's so special about it, what's, um, yeah, just in a very short way, describe it so someone can kind of understand what you do. And then seventh is connect your work to the lar a larger cause in the world so you can end on an inspiring note. Now, I welcome you to comment below this video with what your current elevator speech might be. And it's going to keep growing and improving over time. But just comment below if you like. And also, if you want to practice speaking your elevator speech with each other, uh, comment below to say that you're available to, to practice with anyone. You can get together with someone on Skype for 15 minutes and you share your elevator speech with them. And as you share, they should be listening for any words or phrases that resonate with them that they're probably going to remember, for, have them write it down. And also any words, phrases, or ideas that uh, was confusing for them, that they didn't really get. Maybe their eyes glazed over when you were talking about it. Uh, have them write that down as well so that you can either eliminate it from your elevator speech or improve upon it. Now, and, and the other thing is you might want to practice yourself. Take out of your camera video camera and practice it and then watch it back and then tweak it. Kind of like an actor would keep practicing her lines until every word and phrase is nuanced and delivered in a powerful way with, the, with, with pauses as needed, with, with you know, raises in pitch and tone as needed, okay? When you learn how to do this, it benefits so many areas of your business because you now know in your bones uh, what you do and how well you do it in a concise way. So I hope that's helpful, and I'm always open to your comments and your questions. Be well.